Hey everybody, I'm Tamisha and welcome back to No More Mondays. I have a very quick and small Aldi grocery haul for you guys today. Um, I did not need that much. I just needed to pick up some filler items, you know, just to let me stretch my groceries uh, and my meal plan out until I do my big grocery shopping next week. So I had a $40 budget, you guys, and here is my receipt. I only spent $37 and 54 cent today so i had a 40 dollars budget and your girl came back home with some change so pretty excited about that um i do want to say that if this is your very first time on my channel welcome i'm so happy to have you here and if you like grocery hauls and you like budget shopping and you like recipe videos and taste test reviews then this is the channel for you so what i need you to do is right now go ahead and pause my video and click on that subscribe button because if that's what you like i promise that is what you are going to get on a regular basis when you watch no more mondays so without further ado i want to go ahead and get into this haul and if you are back to my channel and you are a regular subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you guys as well and let's get started all right guys let's go ahead and dive on into this haul i do have my receipt right here on the counter just in case i lose track of some of the prices along the way i can check back on the receipt but if i if while i'm editing and i notice that i forget to mention one of the prices i'll make sure i pop it up on the screen for you guys so let's start off with these refried beans these are 75 cent a can and this is actually um my first time buying refried beans but we're having tacos one night this week um, and I wanted to stretch out the um, the ground turkey that I have so I figured we can add this It'd be a nice little addition for 75 cent so I'll let you guys know uh, what I think about this <laughs> and let's see I got a bag of shredded lettuce this was a dollar 29 that's also for the tacos as well as this um, taco seasoning mix this is the uh, lower sodium one this was only 35 cent and I know in one of my um, previous videos, I uh, show you guys how you can make your own taco seasoning mix where you don't have to buy this package, but I'm actually out of some of those spices and those are going to be on my, <laughs> those are going to be in the budget for next week's grocery haul. So um, 35 cent, you know, I'm only having tacos one night this week, so can't beat that price. Um, these, <laughs> these guys, these are so good oh my god this is the white fudge uh covered pretzels and as you can see i already opened them um these were only 99 cent this week and they also had the milk chocolate um pretzels that were uh, 99 cent as well if you see these and you like pretzels and you know uh covered or dip pretzels definitely try them out um not bad i want to say the regular price is a dollar 29 so let's see um my daughter and i have been talking about having some grits all this week and i guess it's probably because she and i follow the same um pretty much the same pages online and we're both in this group um on facebook called sisters in the kitchen and i'm telling you there's a lot of grits <laughs> there's a lot of grits going on on that page every time i log in i see grits on my timeline and so you know obviously there's a lot of southern girls just like me in that group who love some grits so i picked up a thing of grits because we're going to have breakfast twice this week for dinner and one of the nights is going to be pancakes and another night is going to be um, grits eggs and some sausage and probably some biscuits so a dollar 29 for you know a big thing of grits this will probably last us a while so yep gotta have some grits <laughs> uh picked up a gallon of whole milk this was a dollar 99 i also grabbed two boxes of cereal this is an 18 ounce box of frost frosted mini wheats and a 17 ounce box of their frosted flakes you guys know um like i mentioned in another video i keep cereal in the house and that's mainly for my youngest son my 15 year old eats cereal as a snack every single day i kid you not he makes a beeline um, when he gets off the bus he makes a beeline straight to the kitchen and gets a bowl of cereal after his long grueling 
exhausting <laughs> day of freshman year. So I always keep cereal. I just picked these two boxes up and I normally buy the big bags of cereal. Um, but I figured, you know, this is a decent sized box and the price was right. Um, this was $1.89 for the frosted shredded wheat and the frosted flakes were $1.49. So, and he still has some cereal left over from my last haul. Um, so this should, this will definitely hold him over <laughs> for another week. Uh, let's see. I have some bananas. These were 29 cent a pound today and um, they're still really green but my mom is mainly the only one who eats bananas um, every day and she still has some bananas left over I believe so by the time she finishes those these should actually be ready um, and I also picked up five things of yogurt and I only picked up five today because um, they actually still have a whole box of the moo tubes in the what is it no moo tubes um sorry they have a whole box of that in the refrigerator for my last grocery haul as well as some more of these loose yogurts um in there so and these are only 35 cent each so i just picked up five of those for them okay had to get these again these doppel cats this is a dollar 99 and if you watched my um, all these snack haul video, you know that this was actually one of my favorites um, from that video. So actually about maybe an hour or two after that video was done and posted, <laughs> this whole pack was, was finished. So I did pick up another one today for $1.99. Um, I picked up a thing of hot dogs. These are 99 cent. We're just going to have hot dogs one night this week. Uh, I picked up this kielbasa sausage. Um, for the night that we're going to have breakfast and I realized that this is um, This is the regular. This is not the turkey, but you know, what? it's not a big deal. It's okay uh, Let's see. Oh I picked up this pack of chicken drumsticks and they're marked 99 cent a pound but this was actually uh, 65 cent on special today 65 cent or 65 cent a pound on special today and this is about a five and a half pound pack so I'm going to break this into two um and this will be dinner you know for two nights and I also picked up some waffle fries this bag was a dollar 79 to go with the night that we have hot dogs and let's see I'll start back here I have these fruit and grain cereal bars um in apple cinnamon it's eight bars in this box for a dollar 39 and both of my younger children my 15 and 16 year old um like these so don't grab them in the morning before school or just you know for a snack or something i also have this for my daughter uh she loves <laughs> these fruit pouches so i got the apple peach is four in this pack for um this was 149 and all of the grapes this week at Aldi, well today, I'm not, I'm not going to say this week, but at Aldi today, these were 99 cent a pound. And this is about three and a half pounds. And that is a really good price because I buy grapes probably two or three times a week. And um, whenever I buy them at Aldi or Harris Teeter, the sale price is $1.99 a pound. So to find this for 99 cent a pound, could not beat that and so I always just bring them home and I put them in a bowl um, with some apple cider vinegar and water and let them soak and then I put them in a strainer let you know let them drain and um, for my kids to go ahead and start eating them and because if I don't <laughs> let me go back to that if I don't clean them as soon as they come home as soon as I bring them home they'll just start eating them straight out of the bag like this no rinse them or nothing so I like to get them clean as soon as I get them home with some apple cider vinegar that's a quick trick for you guys apple cider vinegar and some water to soak your produce it works <laughs> all right uh, two cans of tuna 65 cent each we're gonna have some tuna melts and I have some uh, tomato soup because tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner just is just it's just only right <laughs> and let's see I have a thing of hot dog buns for 83 cent and two loaves of bread these are also 83 cent each I normally pick up the um, split top 
wheat what is it the split top whole wheat those are 83 cents each also but they didn't have those um in stock when i went today so this would be just fine for you know sandwiches after school or whatever and i always pick up a thing of zucchini or um squash and this is what i got today this was a dollar 79 for this bag and last but not least <laughs> because if you go to the grocery store without eating first you're always going to get something <laughs> that you don't need these look really good cheesy garlic bread potato chips this is by their clancy's brand and um, this is a good size bag for only a dollar 29 you cannot go wrong <laughs> with cheesy garlic bread so i'm pretty sure we're going to enjoy that so yeah that is my haul for today you guys i'm sorry if i rambled on a little bit too long but i definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my haul with me today and as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below tell me you know if some of these products you've already tried before um you know or just comment to say hello uh share this video with your friends if you want to and as always for more videos in the future don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button all right guys take care and have a good day